ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் வே ஷுட் ஒன் ஸ்பெண்ட் ஒன்ஸ் ஃபைனல் டேஸ் ஆர் தி லாஸ்ட் ஃபியூ இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஒன்ஸ் லைஃப் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் கொஸ்டின் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஒன் ஹேஸ் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தட் நோபடி வில் நோ வென் ஒன்ஸ் லாஸ்ட் ஃபியூ இயர்ஸ் ஆர் லாஸ்ட் ஃபியூ டேஸ் ஆர் லாஸ்ட் ஃபியூ மந்த்ஸ் or when it is going to be in general when bhagavad ramanuja recites gadyatrayam in front of sri ranganatha and sri ranganayaki taya sri ranganatha says that atraiva sri range sukham asva so you remain joyfully in sri rangam that is the order given by bhagavan to sri ramanuja this particular order given by sri ramanuja manavara mangal says in the final pasaram of arti prabandham that because bhagavad ramanuja is like the father figure for all the sri vaishnavas he is the very loving caring father for all sri vaishnavas whatever is given to father will naturally be carried forward to son so all of us shri vishnuvas get the same order from shri ranganatha and we should all remain in shri rangam says manavar mangal now here shri rangam could be literally taken as shri rangam or it could be taken as any divideshan because bhagavad ramanuja also in his final instruction saying that what should build a small hut in tirunaraayanapuram and stay there at least for a year so that uh, is another instruction where bhagavad ramanuja has said that one should remain in tirunaraayanapuram at least for one year but all of this could be applicable for any divideshan where bhagavan's archa form is present many bhagavata should be present we will get good satsangam we will get good opportunities for bhagavat kaikaryam bhagavat gunanubhavam kalakshepam and so on so that is the intent here the intent is to remain in a place where there is a lot of opportunity for us to engage in bhagavad gita and it is not just the last one year or one day or one week or one month because there is no guarantee about how many days one is going to live in general one should remain in divideshans or the abodes which are dear to bhagavan and engage in gunanubhavam that is kalakshepams and kaikaryam engaging in physical and other kaikaryams in divideshans so that is the idea here is to always remain in divideshans or abhimanasthalams or alvar acharyas avatarasthalams so be present in any or anywhere where there is scope for bhagavad gunanubhavam and kaikarya because one can remain in huge cities big cities um advanced technologies and all of that but none of them will give real satisfaction of physical engagement in gunanubhavam and kaikarya is after all when we are in this samsara these divideshans are like oases just like in oasis in the desert these divideshans are present in samsara for prapanas shri vishnu has to remain joyfully even while being in this samsara so one should make make use of that opportunity and remain in divideshans and engage in gunanubhav and kaikaryam just remaining in divideshan is not going to give full benefit benefit in the sense that real joy real joy is to perform mangala sasana engage in kaikaryam engage in gunanubhavam that is the objective and that should be done in divine abodes of bhagavan alvar and acharyas alvar and perumanar jiyar tirudigale sharanam jiyar tirudigale sharanam To learn such valuable information about our Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, please download 
கோயில் K-O-Y-I-L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Our website is koyil.org. K-O-Y-I-L dot O-R-G.